Hey guys, today we are going to talk about probably the most budget combo in standard. And this is, this combo, let me put it out there, is not a tier one combo. It's just kind of a fun combo uh, to do. So it is, you have two angels and then you have a knife bridge patrol. It's a one and a white, uh, the bridge patrol. Uh, whenever another creature you control leaves the battlefield, you get, put a plus one plus one counter on it. So the angels read, they're on commons, and they do cost six, which is a lot. And you need both angels. You need to cast both of them. Uh, flying, whenever they enter the battlefield, you may exile another target creature you control. Then return that card to the battlefield under its owner's control. So two angels, you get this loop where creatures are just coming into play. Obviously, if you're not in standard, you can play uh, a, a bunch of things that can deal damage when creatures come into play. I like this combo. It's very cheap. Uh, obviously, you have two, two cards, uh, free cards, uh, two of them being uncommon and one of them being a common from the current standard set. So the total value of these cards, the angels are about 10, 11 cents. The bridge patrol is, last time I checked, like 5 cents. So it's a 25 cents infinite power, infinite toughness combo. And this is a combo that you, it's compelling because uh, you don't typically see this uh, and the angels themselves, you can make many different renditions of. I'm only using the bridge patrol mainly because it's a common, and secondly because it's in standard. But you can think of all the possibilities you can do. Is this a viable win condition? Is this going to break standard? Is this going to break your? No, it's not going to do that. But at the same time, it is so cheap that why not? Like it reminds me of a deck of old, which is like the human deck and the angel bought back all the humans and then you had to redo it. It's like a reanimator deck, but it's kind of like aristocrats reanimation. And it reminded me of that deck because that angel was expensive too. I feel like it was five or six. And that's how I won. Yes, you do need two of these angels. And yes, they do cost six and you need to cast a six and then another six. But... At the end of the day, why not? I mean, this is just a fun, uh, cute little combo that you can play. I mean, anybody can afford this combo, right? This is not like, oh, we need a time vault. <laughs> we need a time vault or we need a mana crypt. Oh, mana crypt is much more affordable today than it used to be, but it's still very expensive. This is more of a combo along the lines of looks simple, looks cheap, and it's logical. Two angels and a, a knife bridge patrol on color, all white in standard. I might make a deck like this just to troll people because yeah, they do need to not block the creature, right? The the infinite power and toughness creature, but I don't know. Like I want to win with this con. There's some cards when I look at them i want to play them i want some combinations i look at it and i just say okay even if i go zero and five as long as i can pull the combo off in one not even one match one game if i can pull it off one time in a game i think that makes a night i'm more i'm super casual now which is kind of strange uh, i don't tend to win my fnm or compete at a very high level which i'll get into later i need to find a new fnm because everyone in my fnm I feel like it's not really, I mean, they're just fighting tooth and nail for a 25 cents promo. Like, mm, <laughs> you know, I'll, I'll just give you a 25 cent promo in my uh, trade binder if you stop acting like, you know, too aggressively, right? Anyway, bye guys.